in the name of the one God, His Spirit, His Word and His Spirit, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, the one only God. Amen. One of our friends at YouTube, through YouTube and through email, Mr. Zaid, sent us a, a very old uh, video of late Ahmed Didat or Ahmed Didat, who passed away a long time ago, an Indian from South Africa, who used to attack Christianity especially uh, the Bible, to attack the Bible. Of course, we do not attack Islam. We do not need, anyway, any, anything else except our Holy Bible. We are happy with Christ being our Lord, our Master, and our Savior. But of course, now in Arabic and now in English, later in Arabic, we need to, to reply, to be always ready, as St. Peter recommended to us in his first letter, chapter 3, verse 15, be always ready to answer, be always ready to defend the hope that it is in you with meekness and dignity. Well. Late Ahmad Didat, God rest him in peace, in Arabic we say, uh, the deceased, uh, for the deceased we only ask for mercy. لا يجوز على الميت إلا الرحمة. Used to say that the Bible, meaning the Old and the New Testament, is designated by the word Injil. Well, Injil actually is a Greek word, meaning the Gospel, Injil. So, it applies actually to the Gospels and it applies in the broad sense to the New Testament. Anyway, let's say that Injil or Torah or Injil, the Bible, in Arabic, Al-Kitab Al-Muqaddas, the Holy Book, the Bible. Well, uh, he talks about Genesis 19 verse 30 about the two daughters of Lot. He quotes also, in a very demonstrative way, Genesis 35, 22 and 80, uh, 38, 50. Well, there the text is narrating only facts, namely sins, actually incest, which means fornication and adultery or adultery inside the family. Well, what uh, late Ahmad did that, God rest him in peace, did not realize but what we should all realize is that to narrate a fact is one thing, to approve it is another. Stating what actually happened, so painful, so mm, dirty, as it may be, does not mean at all that the Bible approves it. Because in the Bible, already in the book of Exodus, in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy especially chapter 20, we have, but also since the beginning of the Bible, we have the Ten Commandments. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not uh, commit impurity, you shall not kill, uh, commit incest. Of course. So what people do is their responsibility. And when they commit sin, they go against the Bible, against 
the Old and New Testament against the commandments and the will of God. Now, the, so, the problem here with Didat and others is that for, for our brothers, the Muslims, Lot, Lut, is a prophet. Neither for the Jews nor for Christians is Lot a prophet. In other words, or to be more precise, neither the Old Testament nor the New Testament ever describe Lot as a prophet. So, there is no necessity to demand from him complete integrity and holiness following, as I said, the Islamic viewpoint. By the way, Reuben and Judah are not any more prophets than Lot, and to the best of my knowledge, they are not even mentioned in the Quran. How about Lot? Well, it is an incest, of course. The daughters uh, getting their father drunk. Of course, the first sin is drunkenness. Drunkenness is very serious, but at the same time it reduces responsibility. He would not recognize his own daughters. It's horrible. It's horrible that a father have sexual relations with his daughters or with one of his daughters. It's, it's simply horrible. Not any Christian, not any Jew, not one single text of the Old or New Testament approves such an incest. But there is, above all, we have here, we are here dealing with popular traditions, not legends, popular traditions, trying not only to say how serious drunkenness is, how horrible incest is, but also trying to explain, at least in a popular, primitive way, this they used to do in the good old days, the origin of the words Moab, the Moabites and the Edomites, who were enemies of the Hebrews. How do you write Moab in Hebrew? You write it, let's put it in Mem, Vav, Aleph, Bet. But you can also write it without the Vav, Mem, Aleph, Wait. Allow me to illustrate this. Here is with the correspondent in English a small zoom will do. Mo up. Mo up. Now let us take away the O and just put a sign which indicates the O. Mo up. Here you have it in in Latin letters. M up. 
Moab, a small O here. Moab is very similar to me up. Me up. Me up means just here. Me up means from the father. Born from the father. So mo up, me up, me up. Born from the father. This is a popular, primitive, old, ancient, traditional explanation or etymology of the word of the word mo up, mo up, me up, which means from the father, born from the father. How about Judah committing incest with his daughter-in-law? Well, here, late uh, Ahmad Didat, Rahmahullah, God rest him in peace, has overlooked a very important detail that in itself the act was an incest namely a father-in-law having marital relations with his daughter-in-law in itself there's nothing nice about it there's nothing moral about it on the contrary but but Judah did not know she was so veiled he did not know that she was his own daughter-in-law. What he only knew is that she was what he thought. Uh, how would you say that in nice English? A whore, a harlot. So in itself, it's objectively, it's an incense, an incense, sorry, but subjectively for him, it was not an incest because he was not aware that that unknown woman was his own daughter-in-law. Anyway, of course, what was her intention? Her intention which we do not justify at all, was to have descendants, to have offspring. Her, her husband died, her brother-in-law, according to the Leveret law, would not give her any offspring. He would refuse Onan to give her any offspring. So she was keen on having on having children and she made recourse to this uh, horrible way of acting disguising herself as a whore again ladies and gentlemen these texts are in the Bible they come from the narrative Texts. They are part of the narrative texts, not at all part of the legislative texts. They are not laws. Actually, they are facts against laws, against commandments, because unfortunately, human beings are wicked and, uh, and weak especially when it, when it comes to some instincts. Joseph, the righteous, said, let me quote the Quranic text, Inna nafsa la ammaratun bisu. The, the human soul at times commands people to do evil. Inna nafsa la ammaratun bisu. 
So again, no approval at all. No pleasure at all, but just narrating, telling what actually happened without any approval, but on the contrary. Thank you for your attention.